Okay, I have a surprise for y'all. Look at this thing. This is the Nilkin Honeycomb case that they have for sale uh, for the S23 Ultra. And <clears throat> check this out. I already got the phone in there. Normally I'll have the case and the phone side by side. But this one has a sliding camera door. Now, this is the first sliding door camera case I've ever used, purchased, um, or even reviewed, really. Um, I normally stay away from these just because in the past I've thought it's a gimmick and why should I slide something to take a picture. But this case does give you extra protection um, for those camera sensors back there. And just looking at the case, this is a really, really cool construction. This is a kind of a a silicone um, case. I'm not sure if you can see here. It's a little squishy. It's not super squishy. There is some firmness to it. Um, it's got bumpers on all four corners. As you can tell, it's got grips on the side with a um, uh, holes cut out for a wrist lanyard. It's got grips on this side. It's got Nilkin engraved. You got your mic cut out of top. Now this is the, oh, let's try this. <clears throat> this is the Samsung cable, USB-C cable to USB-C cable that Samsung sent with this phone and it fits in there perfectly. With room to spare. So nice big cutout. So you can use aftermarket chargers as well without issue. Speaker is uh, got a nice cutout. And the S Pen has got a nice huge cutout. So you're not going to have any problems getting your S Pen up. Super easy. And it looks very cool. Let's test these uh, uh, buttons out. Very clicky. And now, the cool thing with this is that this honeycomb, I'm not sure if you can tell, these are individual honeycombs. Now, one thing I was worried about is, is this glued on? Is it taped on? Is this going to peel off? And I really tried to dig my thumb underneath it just to see, because that would be an issue if you kept this phone and in this case, for let's say six months or eight months is this going to start peeling off the corner you know because that's happened in the past not with this company or case but other cases if they have a separate design on the back it'll start coming off but i think this is part of the construction of the case because i cannot get my fingernail under there and it does not want to peel off so that's awesome I'm not going to have an issue there um these honeycombs on here, they're each individually engraved, basically. Like, you can dig your fingernail in between each one of these. It's really cool. It feels awesome. Because, the see, what I think is, I think this is like a rubber. And this is like a hard, harder silicone. Because it's not super stretchy. Like I said, it's not squishy. It is flexible, as you can tell. Um, but this almost feels like rubber, like a tire, like you can actually grip your fingernails in there and like, and, um, it just really cool. I, I've, I don't think I've seen a case with this type of material on here. It's really grippy and that's what I like. I like thinner cases. I don't like to have my, uh, an OtterBox case. I, I hate OtterBox cases. You just, it's like a freaking brick in your pocket. So I do like cases that provide protection. However, I want it to be slim and slender as well. Now, they needed to put a grippy material on here to get this open. Because when I was when I was looking on there, do some research on this after I ordered it. It said we had a spring action. They actually have Nilkin actually has a patent. Uh, they claim they do uh, on this technology. So I, I thought it was spring loaded, like you, like basically, like a pen, right? Or like your S pen, where you could click it and it would just pop out. However, it's not, it's not really like that. Um, I thought maybe you could push it in this way barely and it would pop out to the right. You do have to manually slide it out. It does have a spring in there, so all you got to do is get it started and it'll go. 
but um, <clears throat> there's two ways really of opening this. Now it does have a border on here, as you can tell. And my first initial procedure of opening this was to slide it like this, but the border blocks your thumb from sliding it, sliding it open. Which brings me to, you cut, there is space in between this slider door and your cameras underneath. There's about, I don't know, one to two, maybe three millimeters of distance um, of space. So you can either put your thumb on here, push down a little bit. Again, it is super grippy. And push down and slide it out. Right? See, it goes in. So it's not hard. It does give you some resistance. It is spring-loaded. So it does want to go. All you got to do is get it about halfway, and it'll, and it'll want to go. So if you get it halfway to the left, it'll go in. And if you get it halfway to the right, it'll pop out. Just like that. So it is spring loaded, so you're not going to be fighting with it. Um, but however, and, and you can always use this here, this little indentation, to, uh, to open it up with your finger, with your thumbnail. But the way I was going to do it is when you're holding your phone, let's say you're holding your phone like this, you want to take a picture. Now, when you're pushing down to get the grip to slide it out, I was thinking it might flex in a little bit and hit those cameras, right, and scratch them. But however, there's there is a little bit of distance. It's hard to tell here um, under the light and at this angle, but there is a distance. And when I was pushing it down, even if you push it down pretty good and try to rub up against the camera lens, it's not. So that I don't think that's going to be an issue, thankfully. And it has little grooves right there. You see that little tooth where it'll pop into place. It has that on the top and the bottom. And it does not affect the your um, does not affect your pictures or your video. So let's say you wanted to take a picture. Let's say I was in the operating system. And obviously if you take a picture, I mean, if you get, go to your camera app now, it's black, right? Because I got this on. Now, <clears throat> let's say you want to take a picture. I say, oh, hold on. I wonder what the best way to, to slide it would be. So if you're your left hand, I just slid it with my index finger. Boom. Or, let's say, I guess when you rotate it, like that, boom. Maybe just the easiest to do that. It's kind of just put your fingers on here when you're, when you want to take a picture, right? You grab it with two hands. And just go like that. And if it was in your right hand and you wanted to take a picture, it would be cool. That's what I'm saying. It's kind of, um, I'm, I'm going through this for the first time as well. So forgive me, I haven't played with it much. Normally, I'll, uh, when I get cases in, I'll spend, I'll put it on the, my device and use it for a few days and then shoot the video so I can tell you what I like, what I don't like, what bothers me, what doesn't bother me. But this one, probably should have done that as well. However, I, it's so cool. I wanted to go ahead and shoot it. I literally got it in about an hour ago. Um, so I'm not sure what the best way to open it is. I mean, I guess just open it, right? But if you're right-handed, you want to take a picture. Let's say you're on your phone. I guess you have to do it with two hands. Well, I just did it with my finger again. So it's not that hard. It's not that big of a... It's not that big of a deal. 
So when your phone's on, you got it in your hand. See? And that's why this is um, so grippy. It has to be grippy. So you can open it. And my hands are dry. Um, imagine if you were playing basketball, a little bit of um, uh, moisture. You had to have something grippy on here when you construct this case just to basically open it. I know it's got this grip here, but most people, I'm assuming, are going to want to open it with one hand. It would be a hassle where you have to, because sometimes when you shoot uh, video, pictures, I just use one hand, right? I don't have to use two hands. Now, the big phone like this, maybe, right? Because you're using it. Oh, yeah, hold on. Blah, blah, blah. Let me get your picture. And then, you know, boom. <clears throat> but with this... I guess you can just, yeah, you can just use your index. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see, here's how to use it with the left hand. Yeah, you just did it with my left index. Just like that. So best way, if you're going to use two hands, I would just grab it with this in the nail, with a fingernail. Grab it here. You can, you can slide it out with your palm. Um, but you can do it with your index. I just put it right there in the corner, and once you get it started, grab that corner and just slide it right open. So, um, pretty nice. Not going to block your screen protector. It's got decent lip protection. Could be better, but not bad. So, very interesting. I really like this. So, I'm going to put a link in the description for you all. So, again, you can... Um, how much was this? 20 bucks? 12 bucks. I mean, you know, this would probably be 30 bucks on Amazon. They don't sell this on Amazon. Don't sell it on eBay. Um, AliExpress is the only, uh, marketplace, online marketplace where I've seen this at. Um, if you do like it, please check out the link. It is the official Nilkin AliExpress store. So you're not going to get a knockoff. Nilkin, these are my one of my favorite case makers, been making cases for years. Um, they sell a couple on Amazon. Look, you're not going to find this Nilkin case, and you're not going to find this Nilkin case. They're best cases. You're not going to find those on Amazon. I'm not going to find them on eBay. They do have a sliding door case, but it's basically going to look like this one. It's going to look like this one. It's for the Pixel. Except, obviously, it's for the S23 Ultra, but it's got, a, I think, a sliding door. But it's, you know, it's like a felt material. This is, he you know, heavy-duty uh, material. So, um, you're not going to find this on Amazon, eBay. AliExpress is the only place you're going to find it. And it is the official Nilkin store, so you will get an official product. Um, I thought I had the box with me. Maybe it's... Oh, here it is. Check this out. <clears throat> You'll get this case inside here. Now, that's interesting. I was just looking at this. The name of this Striker S case, they didn't have Striker S on there. Do they? Or did I overlook it? Nilkin for Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra case Striker 3D Honeycomb. So they have Striker, just not S case. So. Uh, <clears throat> I guess I overlooked that, but, um, so it is, it's called the Nilkin Striker case. However, again, it is the official Nilkin store. You're not going to get a knockoff. It's not fake. This is the real deal. Um, you'll get it in this box just like this. It's got the official Nilkin sticker and that's basically it. Does it say draft protection? Uh, let's see here. It doesn't normally they'll say superior drop protection and give some claim now i don't believe them but i do like to include that just to you know so you can judge it but on your own but um anyways uh check out the link and i do appreciate your time please stay tuned to the channel subscribe we have more tons of more case reviews coming for the pixel 7 pro and the s23 ultra got some oh got some case to five cases coming in for these devices um for the s23 ultra and the um 
Pixel 7 Pro. Case to Fi on the way. So stay tuned. And uh, I appreciate the time.